There was an element of revenge and an element of proving that you're still the nastiest army in the, in the area. And I, that right. seems really important. Again, it's a very 20th century thing. It's like you got to prove how bad you are again and again. Uh, but as far as taking out Hamas, I don't know. I mean, there's been really tight censorship of how many Hamas are dead. And uh, I'm not sure they've been entirely frank about how many IDF are, are dead or wounded. Uh, the tunnels seem pretty formidable. And mm -hmm. the what what's been done, I think, is that whether officially or not, there's uh, a policy of massive retaliation. Uh, yeah. And, you know, a lot of people died in Israel this time. So a lot of people, a lot more people have to die in Gaza. From what I was reading, it was a little confusing that it seems like even portions that, you know, Israel had kind of claimed to have cleared, mostly in the north, they were now kind of retreating from and, you know, that there were reports of like Hamas kind of overtaking or taking back some areas in the north. And so it seems like even the kind of victories that they've claimed, like it's just very unclear what's yeah. actually kind of going on there. Um, and it doesn't, it, I don't know, it just doesn't seem to be going well other than we're just going to blanket blanket bomb the shit out of everything and hope that, like, you know, like, Brace, what you're saying, that, like, well, once everyone stops moving, then the shit, this will be over. Yeah, well, there, there's a logic to that. I mean, and it's operating uh, in the north as well as in Gaza um, because you saw it in, in the Israel-Lebanon war. Um, basically, Lebanon showed the way. Like, if you have to fight the IDF, you don't come out above ground until you know that you're safe for a few seconds. Mm -hmm. uh, you stay underground as much as you can. And Hamas's videos were showing pop-ups from little tunnels, you know, yeah. right next to Israeli outposts. And the Israelis mm -hmm. were apparently unaware that Hamas was surveilling them from these underground places. So it's very possible that you declare an area cleared and you've killed all the civilians in that area, but uh, you don't really know the network of tunnels yet. And it's pretty clear that the IDF just voted no on, <laughs> let's swarm down those tunnels <laughs> yeah. in single file. It's like, no, I don't think we will. <laughs> and, I think uh, you'd see a revolt of soldiers. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah. Just, those kids aren't going down there. From, from, what, from what I know about wars that featured tunnels pretty heavily, it's sort of the worst job to get. Yeah. It was the worst job in Vietnam, and that was, that was, was, the, that was a tough, tough competition. Kuchi, the, the tunnels, it's like, you know, once you brush off the scorpions and the snakes, then you can get to the booby traps and the Viet Cong, which is really not a good job advert. No, no. And, and their whole thing, too. I mean, it's, 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 they all, first of all, IDF has a astounding lack of guys with cut off sleeve t shirts, uh, uh, headbands, and revolvers and a flashlight. <laughs> Seem to have seen none of those. Um, yeah. But. <laughs> But uh, the, the Israelis, even just in their the external and internal propaganda, have this weird thing where they sort of act like the IDF are children. And, like, they're both, like, vicious, like, you know, tough tough killers ready to stand up for anything, but also, like, these precious things that need to be protected. Right. And so, like, yeah. they, they rely heavily. I mean, this is this has sort of been, like, the people say the cause of why October 7th was able to happen. Heavily invest in all this technology to insulate their precious little flowers of the nation. Um, and yeah, that is, that is, I guess, not proving very effective if a guy can rise up with a fucking GoPro in your camp. Yeah. So, so basically it means you declare an area cleared and it's not cleared and you don't really yeah. know if it's clear or not. Uh, so, um, uh, which amazes me by the way. I mean, to me, yeah. the most uh, astonishing military aspect of this is, Israeli intelligence, which is 
pretty damn cocky and swaggers around the world selling its surveillance products everywhere. Again, a very 20th century kind of attitude. Yes, yes. They did not notice these massive preparations like, oh, well, that's just, you know, 200,000 tons of concrete. It's probably just for a pool in some Hamas guy's backyard. Uh, they couldn't be making tunnels out of it, I don't think. And they somehow missed this in in what has to be the most heavily surveilled, videoed, yes. eavesdropped territory in the world. It's, Gaza is like a goldfish bowl. And, and to... For the goldfish to stage an attack on the people who dump food in it, <laughs> you, you, yeah. that's an intelligence failure. Yeah. 